Hey, hey pursuers. pursuers! So we are back. It's actually the final days of 2021. And we could not go into 2022 without taking a look back. Yeah. Talking. We have some hard questions. Mm. We're going to tag um the the lady who came up with these questions below. Her name is Nedra. Child, them qu she got some questions. Oh but God. we wanted to have a nice uh private pursuit year in review type vibe. Yes. Where we could look back and really talk about... How we feel the year went and, yeah. and ask the hard questions and we hope it inspires you to do the same. Yeah. Um, and so we're excited, y'all. We are almost into 2022. Yeah. And I don't know about y'all, but we are expecting great things Come in 2022. On. But you can't be greater if you mm. don't take a look back and mm. assess Ooh. assess yourself. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do some assessing, but we're yes. also excited and <laughs> we child, we're ready to celebrate. <laughs> So we're going to do the work, but then we're going to celebrate. Come on. Um, so first question that we have is, who showed up for me and how can I nurture those relationships? So mm, come on, Dan. Okay. Who showed up? So if you all watched some of our um, our last video from our live that we did, um, where we were asking where is the private pursuit has been, you would have learned that I experienced a very... Yeah, impactful loss. I lost my stepfather this year, and um, navigating that has been hard. I'm yeah. still navigating that. Um, but that was the time where God showed me in such a real way, like who is for me. Yeah. And so I'm. I'm no. I'm not going to name everybody. So please don't feel slighted. Um, but some of the people that really showed up for me, obviously Kalana. My friend Nish, Deshana, um, Tiana, um, I have people in my family, Destiny, like I, my aunts, um, all of you and many more held me down. You all helped me stay together, allowed me to be authentic in my yeah. grief. Because I think a lot of times people, especially in the Christian faith, they be like, oh, it's okay because he in a better place and God... First of all, don't do that. Don't rush people through their grief. Yeah, y they have to experience and have their own process. Exactly. like, Or they end up not dealing with it and then having the effects down the line. And that may affect you. <laughs> Listen. So, um, allow me to grieve authentically. Um, and my good friend, Brittany, Kyron. Y'all, like, like I said, it's a lot of people who yeah. have prayed for me, kept me lifted, and... How can I nurture those relationships? I think the biggest thing, like, so this whole year, God has been teaching me about community. And really not just this year, since I joined our church, he's been pulling me into community. And this year, it was like, okay, take it a little further, show up for people. So I think one of those ways is to continue to be responsive because, come on, I'll tell you, I don't like talking to people. I like to be by myself. Like, <laughs> Yes, she does. I like, but she time. will show up. I if will. You, if it's like an emergency, she's gonna show up for you. I'm but you gotta call. Just go, call, call me call and her. tell me you need me. Like, and here's the thing. <laughs> I get people that permission to harass me and call me out. Like, that's if you know that you struggle with being in community. If you are an introvert, like I'm an introvert and I I like to be alone, which isn't isn't always healthy. Um. Just be honest. Don't yeah. don't badger yourself. Just tell the people in your in your life that yeah. that's how you are, and give them like set the boundaries. I tell my my friends and some of my family members, if I don't text you, Kalana knows. If I don't respond to your texts, call call me. That's what she and I I give her like an hour, and then I'd be like, oh, she didn't see that. Let me call her. So and but we, you have to put a system in place. Yeah. And Deandra knows, child. If she texts me and I just don't answer, she like, well, no, wait. <laughs> she must. She must be asleep. Maybe she's asleep. Right. Because I be taking my naps. Amen. Naps are good. But we have a system in yeah. place to make sure that we can check up on each other um, and so that we feel safe. Yeah. I think that that's the whole point of it is to create safety. So that's a really good one. I How like about that. you? Oh, I have a lot of people who showed up for me and I think it was like hence the name private pursuit mm -hmm. right i I went through a lot of private things and so i i'm not gonna name well i guess i have to name you names. don't have to yeah I, there were my friends really showed up for me 
Definitely Deandra. I can tell Deandra anything. We can we can do. <laughs> yeah. I can. Because I know what you're thinking. Drag, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I can drag Deandra down in my mess. And she does not mind getting down in my mess to pull me back out. Amen. And so Deandra, definitely niche. Niche has always been like my safe place yeah. and the person I can laugh with yeah. about the foolishness that I did. Um, Shamara, I, that's my boo. Like Shamara is literally like a hug mm. for me. Mm. Um, and so my church family just in general, but I also have to be very honest. And I know people probably be like, she always talking about her boyfriend, <laughs> but I don't care. This year was a very difficult year for Sharif and I. And um, he probably wouldn't admit that because I think he just worships the ground that I walk on. But <laughs> he... He has been there for me in a way that has made me feel safe enough yeah. to be honest mm -hmm. about how I feel, yeah. what I'm going through. And Sharif like will double back on something and be like, because that's not what you said. Yeah. And that's not, and you didn't share this and you didn't. Mm -hmm. And so he holds me accountable in a way that is like, I can feel safe. Yeah. And I don't, I didn't always like that. It's not, I didn't like that. <laughs> be honest I did not like that um but he has definitely showed up for me yeah. even when he didn't always have somebody to show up for him mm -hmm. um and so the way that I try to nurture those relationships is give them the same thing and more like yeah. I don't ever want any of those people to question um if I'm gonna be there like I I'm a, oh, I'm going to show up yes, and I'm showing did. up swinging. Come on. Um, because I need she to make sure. y'all. I'm letting y'all know. I need to make sure my <laughs> friends is okay. Yes. And so that's, I think we have to make sure that we establish check-ins. Yes. Like niche. And I had to be like, oh, we haven't had a date in a while. We need to set a date. Yeah. We need, you know, we need to do something. Or like Shamara is good at just, she, she just called me like, I haven't heard from you. She's so sweet. I haven't heard from you. And then like my, my core set of like best friends, yeah. like my one friend, she's pregnant now and she calls me to check on me. And so I love like my yeah. line sisters and like it's people who are just consistently in my yeah. corner. And so I'm so grateful um, but this year, I think aside from like my best friends mm -hmm. that I've known have always been there for me, people, um, like in my church family mm -hmm. and obviously like newer relationships really proved to be like staples. Like, yes. oh, I can really, like, these are really ride or die people yes. and ride or die. Um, we actually had this conversation and I shared with D'Angelo, like ride or die has kind of had like a negative connotation, mm -hmm. but this year God really showed me like, ride or die can meet like Deandra and I ride or die yeah. for each other because we're willing to ride out through this process but we're also willing to die to ourselves yeah. in Christ with each other that and part. sometimes you just mm -hmm. need a person that understands I'm there's a piece of me that's dying right mm -hmm. now give me a minute I'm gonna be fine Ooh. but there's some God is dealing with me in an area and I'm having to kill off some things and so when somebody else understands that it's powerful. You they, not just say it, but like they really understand. You're sending me, girl. I'm, okay, I'm. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No, I'm so serious. Like, yeah, man. it's that's right. Like Deandra is my ride or die. Like we've had to die together in yeah. different areas of our lives at the same time, yeah. and it's just like, girl, I know it hurts, but yeah. we going, we still going, and so mm -hmm. that's powerful. Um, yeah, we got some good, we have Girl. some good people in our circles. Yes, we do. And we thank God and we will always honor them. Yes. Um, we will always honor them. And so the next question is, ooh, <laughs> Nedra, you and these questions. Oh, because you, you pushed we, We're going to take her in this video because y'all need to ask y'all some of these questions. We're just doing three, but there's some dope questions here. What has been a barrier to me completing my goals? And how will I remove it in 2022? <laughs> <laughs> I want to run away. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
I'm gonna keep mine short. Well, I Amen. Do. Amen. <laughs> the Lord knows. We know, right? Okay, okay, on that. So um, it was interesting because on the list of questions from Nedra, uh, <laughs> I told Kalana the answer to that one is the next question, number eight, and <laughs> it's limiting beliefs. And I feel like that's something that I've been, um, that God has had me on a journey these last few years conquering and in the season that I am, am in now, as Kalana was just talking about um, things dying, that's a part that he's killing off, the self-limiting beliefs that um, are ultimately rooted in fear. Yeah. And so um, that has been the, the most um, active force against me becoming and doing the things that God has called me to do. And you know, there's the, the phrase that goes around, do it afraid. I, there are some times I'm just tired of being afraid, if I'm being honest. Like, yeah. I don't want to do it afraid. I just want to not be afraid while I do it. Yeah. And I know that um, fear is a tricky little thing at times, but I think the lim the self-limiting limiting beliefs and fear, those are the things I want to conquer because those are things that often paralyze me. And yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. Those are good ones. I agree. Um, ooh, this is such a hard question. I think... <sighs> The reality is the barrier to me completing my goals has been me mm. and my discipline. And that's a hard thing for me to sit with, if I'm being honest. But I remember the first when I was I was reading like the book of Nehemiah, that God had me mm. on this whole journey um, through the book of Nehemiah. And if you read about Nehemiah, he was rebuilding a wall. But at the same time, he was having to fight. And I just thought that was very unfair that he had to fight and build. <laughs> but I feel and I know in my spirit that I'm going to have to get better at fighting and building at the same time. And I'm growing because I I haven't always wanted to do that. And so that is what I would say um, is my biggest thing and how I plan to conquer that is being prepared to fight and build. And so... Yeah, y'all y'all wait, because I'm finna be building some stuff. We yes, both, the private is. pursuit is going to be building stuff. <laughs> Deandra is definitely building some stuff. And child, I'm going to build, 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 you build. building. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. And so our final question mm -hmm. is, what did 2021 teach me about myself? <laughs> Ooh, wow. Okay. Right. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna start with the the not so popular stuff. It's taught me um, where I am not who I thought I was. Yeah, I def it exposed some cracks in me, and that things about me that are not flattering, and having to sit in the honesty of that, y'all. <laughs> Listen, Lord, you want to grow, you want to build, you got to be willing to see the things about yourself that ain't so pretty and be honest. Um, but it also taught me where my resolve really is and it's to trust God and to believe him that he's a finishing God. He's finishing the work that he started in me. And so that's good. Yeah, that's so good. Deandra. That's really mine, too. If I'm being honest, is 2021 showed me like this thing is not i think sometimes we expect that if we're walking things out with god <laughs> it's going to be like oh i'm, I'm not nice out here That's beautiful. and i was really <laughs> expecting for it to be like this cakewalk but the reality is um i got tested even the more and i was hot about that thing and oh, so that's what, been the more. <laughs> listen, what 2021 has really taught me is my more about myself yeah. and how I respond to the not so nice things. Girl. And so our challenge with this video really is just to challenge you to look back on 2021. What is God trying to show you? Yeah. What is he trying to teach you? Yeah. Um, and just know that greater is coming, yes. but it can't come if you're not willing to shift and grow and move and take the hits. Take the hits and be pruned. Be pruned, okay? And so we love you guys. We just want to say happy new year yes. and we made it, okay? The private pursuit has big things coming mm -hmm. in 2022. We love you guys. Love you.